everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally doing another Pokemon artwork because I think it's been about a month since I uploaded a Pokemon art video and that's a long time for me so <laughs> yep it's happening. I know this footage right now is a little bit out of uh, focus but that's okay it fixes up pretty quickly um, around the inking phase so that's okay. Anyways Today I am drawing Sylveon and I love this Pokemon. Sylveon is so adorable and it's one of my favorite Pokemon, especially evolutions. I love all of those. <laughs> but yeah, I actually filmed the sketching phase for this video. That's pretty surprising for me because usually I forget or I'm busy doing like something else while sketching and a lot of the time I actually kind of sketch and then throw it out and sketch and throw it out so like if I s film the sketching phase it's so much footage to go through but this one was pretty alright. So now I am inking it and I decided to actually ink it mostly in pink because Sylveon is so adorable and has a very pink colour scheme. I thought the pink multi-liner would be pr pretty good for it. And yeah, I'm actually really happy I did that because it gives it a soft, cute, kawaii look. <laughs> God. And yeah, I actually decided to ink the eyes in black and the nose in black as well. And that's mainly because I wanted them to stand out a little bit. Now for the background, I kind of wanted it simple but really cute. So I actually coloured in the whole thing with um, my Heath coloured marker. And yeah, I had to go over it a few times for a few different layers just so I can get the colour sort of even because when you go over it just once, sometimes it's a little bit streaky. So you want to go over it a few times just to make sure that that's nice and even. And yeah, that's what I did. For anyone wondering, Heath is actually V01. That's the, the colour code that uh, the Copic markers have. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm actually really happy that I coloured in the background purple because I was originally planning to do it pale pink, which is RV10. And I don't know, I kind of changed my mind last minute because I wanted to shade Sylveon's body in that colour so I decided a very slightly different colour because that would help Sylveon stand out a little bit. Finally getting towards the end of the colouring in the background phase, I spent a lot of time doing that actually. <laughs> But it kind of, I don't know, it was kind of worth it because I'm really happy with how even the background looks. I know it's not perfect, you can't get it perfect with markers, but yeah. Now that I finally had that done, I actually decided to go over parts of it with my colourless blender. And I did this mainly so I could get little heart patterns over the background. I thought that that was really cute and fitting for the character. And I don't know, I didn't want to do it with like white paint or something because I wanted them very soft. And I really like the look of the colourless blender on a colour. I don't know, it gives it a different feel and I like that. I like the little textures inside the hearts. I think they look really cool. After I did all of those hearts, I actually went in with my gel pen and drew little sparkles on the page. Now I mainly did that by doing drawing a little circle and then doing uh, a sort of cross on it with some longer lines and then a little cross uh, 
in the diagonal sort of way with some shorter lines and that basically is my way of doing like a bright star or a sparkle that kind of thing and I don't know I just thought that it was really cute and I wanted to make this artwork really 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 cute and over the top and yeah I think it worked pretty well I think it definitely fits for a fairy type Pokemon <laughs> Now I have to say, with Sylveon, my favourite part of this pose is his little feet, or her little feet, I'm not sure what gender Sylveon is, but yeah, the little toe beans as well, and the, the fact that the back feet like cross like that, I think it's so cute. I'm actually really happy with this artwork because of how, I don't know, it's just one of those ones that are simple, and yet it turned out so adorable. <laughs> Now the colours that I'm actually colouring in Sylveon at the moment is Begonia Pink, which is RV14. And that's the, the darkish pink colour at the moment that are on his feet and um, his head, his ears and little bits on the end of his ribbon things and his tail. And yeah, the lighter pink colours, which is mainly the shadow um, and the little patterns on the, the, the bows is our V10 pale pink. And yeah, the blue parts on Sylveon are B93 light crockery blue and also night blue. When shading this artwork, I tried to keep most of it pretty simple. I didn't want to over shade the piece. I wanted it sort of simplistic and adorable. And then, yeah, I think it turned out that way and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I wanted to talk about my 1000 subscriber artwork. I am starting it very soon. If anyone who doesn't know, I recently reached 1000 subs and I wanted to do a bit of an artwork to celebrate that. So I decided to do one with lots and lots and lots of Pokemon and it's an A3 Copic illustration. And yeah, I asked people to comment lots of uh, their favorite Pokemon and I was going to include every single one in the artwork. I'm definitely still doing that. I was just wondering if people who hadn't heard of that wanted to comment their favorite Pokemon as well and yeah I will add those to the list. Now I am just coloring in the eyes with B00 Frost Blue and yeah I really like that colour for the eyes. I love Sylveon's eyes because they're such a very light blue and with a little white highlight it's so shiny and sparkly and I love it. Anyways, here is the final art and yeah, as I said before, I'm pretty happy with it and I think it's pretty cute. Um, sorry if the narration hasn't been the best uh, for this video, I am a little bit tired, so <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone!